Welcome back. The news and details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi held a meeting on Monday with Presidential Advisor for Urban Planning, Amir Sayyid Ahmed, Head of the Engineering Authority of the Armed Forces, Ihab al Far, Director of the Water Administration, Sam Galel, Head of the Engineering Authority Consultant Office, Ashar al Arabi, Deputy Head of the Engineering Authority for Armament Affairs, Khalid Farahat, Deputy Head of the Engineering Authority for Road Designing, Abdelaziz al Fi'i. Presidential spokesman Bassem Radi said that the meeting reviewed President Sisi's directives to gradually expand the rate of constructing and developing the main roads and axes in Greater Cairo. The meeting also tackled the executive status of several national projects implemented by the Engineering Authority, including Egypt Delta for agricultural production and the new administrative capital. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi stressed uh, the strong relations binding, binding Egypt and Saudi Arabia, adding that they are based on strategic partnerships in all fields. The President's remarks uh, came during his meeting on Monday with Saudi Minister Turki Sheikh, advisor at the Saudi Royal Court and Chairman of the General Authority for Entertainment. Presidential spokesman Bassam Radi said that Minister Sheikh delivered to President al-Sisi greetings from King Salman bin Abdelaziz and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. During the meeting, President Sisi asserted that the Egyptian and Saudi leaderships are keen to boost bilateral relations through continuous cooperation and coordination on the levels of public and private sectors. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri arrived in Ramallah where he met with Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on Monday. The talks covered means of reviving the Middle East peace talks as well as providing the support the Palestinian people need. Meanwhile, Shukri held talks with his Palestinian counterpart on the latest regional developments and means of enhancing coordination and consultations over issues of mutual concern. After their meeting, the two top diplomats held a joint press conference where Shukri asserted Egypt's constant and supportive stance to Palestine. The minister said that he delivered a message from President Sisi to the Palestinian president, stressing to strengthen the ties binding the two countries. Earlier, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met on Monday with Jordan's King Abdullah II. The talks covered the Egyptian-Jordanian unique relations, as well as the latest developments in the Palestinian cause. Shukri expressed Egypt's appreciation to the Jordanian role in protecting the Islamic and Christian holy sites in Jerusalem. Earlier, Shukri held talks with his Jordanian counterpart, Ayman al-Safadi, on efforts to reach a just and comprehensive settlement for the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. The two ministers held a joint press conference after the talks in Amman. Shukri said that Egypt and Jordan shared the same views on the Palestinian cause. He stressed on the need to coordinate with the international community to find means of reaching a settlement. For his part, Asafadi hailed the Egyptian role in seeking an end to the conflict. The two top diplomats also discussed means of boosting the stability of the region. Upon the directives of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the humanitarian convoy of Long Live Egypt Fund has arrived at its last stop at the Rafah Terminal Port ahead of crossing the borders to the Gaza Strip. The convoy is carrying food supplies, medical aid, clothes and electric equipment. The fund had prepared the convoy through participations and donations of Egyptian companies in the fields of trade and industry contributing to the initiative of constructing Gaza, which was launched days ago by President Sisi. On the ground, the Israeli occupation forces arrested 15 Palestinians.